And I'm Dan Riskin. We've got all kinds of innovations on today's show. We're going to check out a new spin on the bicycle wheel because, yes, it is high time we reinvent it. Right now, though, a segment that proves that you don't necessarily have to be an expert to realize your dreams, or in this case, reinvent the wheel. This is going to be good. Wheelie good. My name is Mike Bertov, and I reimagine the wheel. It doesn't spin like a regular wheel. It doesn't look like a regular wheel. And it packs a ton of power. My name is Dakota Decker, and today we're putting our latest prototype to the test. We invented a new type of wheel. A wheel that can house all sorts of components inside the wheel. Anything you want, you can put in. I was watching Tron, and I thought, that is a really cool bike. I really want one of those bikes. So I thought, why don't we put a motor? Why don't we put a battery inside that wheel? And I thought, you know what, let's do this. And I left my job and I started building one. I have zero engineering skills. I have zero engineering background. I gobbled some things together just to prove the concept. I made it out of really heavy, really inefficient materials. The design was just atrocious. Looking at it now, it's embarrassing, but I am very proud of what I was able to do with absolutely zero skills. I showed it around to people after it was done, a few people, and the reaction I got was outstanding. It was amazing. I knew it was a big idea. I am amazed at how far he got having uh, no mechanical engineering background. He did very well with that. And from there, he found uh, me and our other uh, coworker, Gideon. We were both mechanical engineers by trade, so we had the experience and the expertise and the skills to actually take that initial prototype that he had created and make it into a, a working version that can actually go on a bike. We removed all the spokes and instead put rollers around the outside, so just the tire is spinning, nothing internal to that. And that freed up all that space to put, you know, the motor, the battery, the controller, all the electronics, everything you need to make an electric bike. You can put anything you want in there. I mean, we have headlights on one of our models. We have, um, you can put like a TV screen in there. It'll be an advertisement. You can put a coffee maker in there if you want. You can put a cell phone charger. You can put a compartment to hold your, to hold your phone or your backpack or your books or anything you want in there. As an academic experiment, yeah, we did it. We made a very cool looking wheel, but to actually make it something that's useful, something that people can use on a daily basis, they can afford, this was our biggest challenge. So this bike, uh, we're targeting, it's gonna go just about 20 miles an hour, it's about 32 kilometers an hour, and we're shooting for a range of 20 miles as well, or 32 kilometers. On top of that, you wanna pedal, which most people who have a bike are gonna to wanna to pedal. You can easily get up to, you know, double, triple, quadruple that. Our biggest challenge today is testing this new size of wheel that we're using for bikes. Testing it on different bike frames, and we don't know how it's gonna react. Uh, the bikes are extremely not standard. So we wanna make sure that this works across different riders on different bicycle types. When people see it, they don't know how to react. It doesn't make sense. Everybody's staring, everybody always stares. It's, it's something funky, it's something they've never seen before. Imagine a wheel rolling down the street that doesn't spin. It's, the looks I get are uh, amazing. Uh, I, you know, when I look at it, it still doesn't make sense to me. There's a lot of surprises. <laughs> but, but it, a lot it, of fun though. A lot of fun, it performed great. Uh, I had a lot of fun riding it on the gravel, on grass, I mean, it, it, it performed better than I expected. There's a, there's a couple of tweaks. There's definitely a couple of tweaks, but it performed great. And it held up to a lot. That wheelie test, I mean, that thing dropped like four or five feet straight down there and it didn't even phase it. I'm really impressed with that. Also the water, I mean, we were kind of worried about having no traction in the water, but it seemed like it didn't even phase it at all. I was watching a movie and I dreamed up a thing and I actually did it. That's the most amazing thing. It wasn't just me, of course. It was an entire team, but we actually did it. I, the dream is actually right there behind me. That's an amazing thing to me.